Okay, so today is very special. It's my baby boy Felix's birthday. Of him as a baby, a little tiny wee little thing. So you guys are gonna get to kind of see how he's changed over time, and it's, it's amazing. And then towards the end, I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I got for his birthday for him, and he's gonna get his favorite birthday treat. He's looking at me right now across the room because I think he knows what he's gonna get for his birthday. So. He's very excited. I'm very excited for him. All right, it's his first birthday that I'm officially, officially celebrating, um, which is, which is, I can't wait. I can't wait. He's my angel and he deserves it all. So I think he deserves everything. I kind of want to get it officiated and like make it official. I agree. I think he's kind of a perfect, perfect uh, participant. So guys, I'm gonna show you the eggs real quick before we celebrate with Felix, because he is the birthday boy and we wanna make sure that we we spend all day with him. Loud and clear, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab the eggs real quick. They're actually, they're sitting in my closet, so I'm sorry if it gets really dark. All right. Happy birthday, Felix. Thank you. He's very excited to be celebrating. I think he knows it's his birthday because he's been looking at me and being extra cute. He's like, mother, give me all the treats and presents, mother. All right, guys. So last night, literally last night, these eggs were, were laid and born. Okay. So from um, one of my other females. So I'm going to open these guys. Okay, so they're in a little Tupperware container. I just put them in a little Tupperware container and they have, as you can see, substrate. But let me open these guys. Hard to do with my hand. Okay, there we go. So, look at how teeny tiny they are. So if, if I'm like holding this on my lap, okay? If I pick one up. That's how big they are. Or well, how tiny they are. And what's interesting, and I showed you guys this last week, but you know what? It's so cool to me that I want to show you guys again. So these are literally not even one day old, okay? Um, not even a day old. So that's pre pretty much how big they they start or how tiny, in the, you know, kind of how tiny they start, okay? Now, let me put my phone right here. I'm going to like mount my phone to the eggs. I'm going to grab the other eggs to show you guys the difference. What happens to the eggs as they age? or as they, you know, as they get older. Do, do any of you guys remember that from last week? They are very fragile, but they're kind of squishy and soft. So if you drop one, they're not gonna crack like a chicken egg. Um, they'll actually kind of bounce, but obviously we don't wanna, we don't wanna drop them. And oh my gosh, guys. <gasps> you guys are gonna see something unplanned. Okay, hold on. This is a really good surprise. Before I show you the surprise, the unexpected surprise, this egg right here that I just put in there, see the size difference? Compared to all those little eggs around it, right? It's huge. It's a big boy. So the egg grows as the baby grows inside of it. Um, chameleon eggs are one of the only ones that do that, but guys, so I put these eggs, this is a surprise. I put these eggs um, kind of away because these, the, these eggs are kind of still waiting to hatch. And uh, what is that right there? Do you see something hanging out of the egg? Do you guys see that? This is not, this was not planned guys. You guys got an extra surprise today. You see that? I know it's a little hard to focus. So I hope you guys can see that is a baby chameleon. Here. That is a baby chameleon that just started hatching. So he's actually, he's kind of turned around. He's got his little booty sticking out first. It is hatching. In fact, I might go ahead and help him because he's turned around. So would you guys like to see a baby chameleon be born? This is something that I literally was not planning at all, guys. Um, I So I'm gonna show you guys how I help these little ones, okay? So let me put him gently back, okay? I'm gonna put him back. So these, these eggs are about uh, 11 months old. That's why they're so big and they're just kind of taking their time to hatch. And then these guys were just born yesterday. So 
I'm gonna show you something really cool. Really, really cool. Okay, I'm gonna do it in this light. There you go, now you guys can see it. They can hatch between six to 10 months old after basically incubating for that long. So these guys are 11, um, so they can actually go longer than that. So this little egg's not hatching yet, but guys, I'm gonna do something really cool. So with, when, when babies hatch like this, so do you see his little booty sticking out? It's his little tail. So he kind of hatched the wrong way. Usually you want them to hatch head first. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently, gently help him out, okay? So is that, is, I hope that's focused for you guys. I know it's kind of difficult, but I'm gonna gently push pressure on the other side, okay? And again, this is what breeders and I have to do sometimes to help them out. Do you guys see something coming out? You see the little head? Just gently help them out. Gently help them out, there you go. And then we're gonna leave him, we're gonna just let him rest. So he's curled up in a little ball. It's almost like you can't even see what he is, right? He kind of looks like just a little goo, a little booger. So that's how they look like when they're inside the egg. And if you see it kind of like a yellow and red little thing right there, that's his the remaining egg yolk. That's basically what feeds these babies throughout their whole little incubation. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. He doesn't want to wake up, right? He's twitching his little hand at me. Hi, baby boy. I think it is a boy. I, I can't tell for sure right now, but I think it's a boy. Happy birthday, yeah, you just born. So we only do this, we only help them out, guys, when it, it's, when I can tell that, you know, maybe they're struggling, right? So that way, in, in captivity, we kind of have that, um, that option. So there he is. Happy birthday, little guy, little Felix Jr. Slash, here's the big boy that we all came to see. This is the big boy whose birthday it is today. Now, what did he get for his birthday? So his birthday gift, his major birthday gift is outside um, kind of getting ready to be put in. It's not ready yet, but I'm gonna show you a little, we can celebrate two birthdays today. We are, yeah, honestly, that's kind of amazing that baby hatched today. I love that. So what did Felix get? So, okay, Felix is gonna get, again, one of his favorite treats. Let me show you guys his favorite treats which are, yum, yum, yum. They're nice and crawly. Hornworms, almost, almost. They were the others. So hornworms are, are definitely his favorite. These are probably his next favorite. These are the super worms. So he's gonna get, I'm gonna feed, I'm gonna feed him, okay? He's gonna get some super worms and he already sees it. Look at him. You guys see him up there being a little, you're all the way at the top, buddy. You gotta come down. Yeah, good boy. Come on down, come on. So I'm going to feed him. I have like my little feeding tongs, see? That way the little worms, I don't have to touch them. <gasps> buddy, look, <gasps> come here. You wanna show the, oh yes, you're ready, you're ready. And, oh no, you missed. Did you guys see that? He missed. Try again, buddy. Try again, you got this, come on. You got this. I'll bring it even closer because you're a birthday boy. There you go. Oh, yum yums. He's so happy right now. This is like giving kid uh, candy to a kid, which I'm sure you guys also love candy. This is the equivalent of candy for him. He's very happy. I think it's cute. Maybe a little good catch, Felix, right? You did it, buddy. You missed the first time, but that's okay. You want another one? It's your birthday. It's your birthday. You deserve it, honey. <gasps> Ready? Oh, no. That's a tongue. Good boy. Almost fell off. So this is his birthday treat, and then I'm going to show you guys. He chews it, and it's what? Yeah, he likes to crunch these. He takes his time. You're very cute, buddy. So their tongue is one and a half to two times their entire body length. 
So if I zoom out, right, if I kind of walk back here and he's right there, right, he's on his branch, he can reach to where, about where the end of my tongs are. So he can reach that far away, which is amazing. This is why uh, they have done so well. Um, they've evolved not only with 360 degree vision, because they can move their their both their eyes um, 180 degrees each, so they can see in every direction. They also have. Let me see your hand, buddy. Can I see your little hand? They also have these little grabby hands that work like this. So they kind of work like if your hands like this, so they can grab onto things like a claw rather than reptiles. Most reptiles have hands like this, right? They're they're flat out to the sides. Chameleons have evolved to have hands like this. So when they're climbing, they can grip. That's why they grip branches so well. They, they live in trees. So they're arboreal because they've evolved that way. They've evolved to actually be able to stay high up in the trees away from predators. You want to, come on, there's three, there's two more, buddy. You deserve all of them. Let's see how far he can go. I'm going to challenge him, guys. Even though it is his birthday. Okay, it is your birthday. Here, I'll just give this to you. Oh, there you go. Um, I'm gonna show you the babies because it's easier to tell with the babies. Like, how can I tell when they're super teeny tiny? So, in this bin over here, I have some bigger babies, but this guy right here, do you see? Let me grab him real quick. Come on, little guy. Come on. So, you see this little friend? Let me move the light. There we go. So you see this little friend right here? I hope that's super, I hope that's not super dark for you guys. Um, so he has pretty per, like predominant, like pretty um, obvious barring on his sides, but the best way to tell is actually looking at the very base of their tail, right? The very, very base, so where their tail begins, like right in there. Um, males will have a thicker tail. So this is a male, so let me bring a female out. Males will have a thicker tail while the little girls, are you a little girl? No, you're a boy. You're a boy. We don't need no boys. This one's a little girl. Let me get her real quick. So this is a little girl and she has not as intense, why is the lighting? Hold on, there we go. She has um, not really intense barring or anything and she has a kind of a thinner tail base. I know it's a little hard to see. They are so tiny but she has a thinner tail base. So looking at their tails is the best way to tell their gender, when they're, especially when they're that teeny tiny. So these guys are actually, all these little ones right here in this, in this bin, they're gonna, go, they're gonna go to their new homes in one month, which makes me kind of sad, happy and sad. It's bittersweet. And um, I'm gonna show you one last thing before we wrap up. Are you my friend? Come here, are you my friend? Are you the one that I seek? Come here, little guy. I think this is him, one sec. Yes, this is him, okay. All right, so this little nugget, let me see if you guys can see him well. Okay, this little nugget, so, uh, I'm probably going to keep him. Now he has a little bit of a shorter tail. Um, the others picked on him, so they kind of, and they they do this they do this and it's it doesn't do anything bad it just kind of he just lost a tiny bit of his tail so he's kind of got a little nub tail um i need help naming him because he's the only one that i may keep from this clutch just because you know i i want to find them most of them good homes so guys it doesn't look very exciting um but it's very exciting for me okay so this is the whole box of driftwood just literally just driftwood that I bought for Felix and the others, right? There's one piece and I, I don't have it on me at the moment because it's outside soaking, but I bought him all these types of wood to add to his enclosure because his enclosure is nice, but it needs a little bit more. Like I've always wanted to add a bit more to it. So when he's gotten his official big birthday gift, I'll post it online. Um, on DIY for you guys so you can see it, but it's gonna be a massive branch that goes in here. It's like a, it's like a tree. It looks like a literal tree. So that's his big birthday gift. It was very big and expensive and I think he deserves it. That's, that was Felix's birthday bash. Yeah, you see yours? I tried to add as much of Felix, like there's a lot of other work. 
um, like just other like rec call stuff. But I tried to just keep it to like the Felix work because it is his birthday and he's a birthday boy. I'll let you guys know what I decide because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep him. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm leaning towards keeping him for sure. So I sell most of them only because, um, you know, I'm limited to room and they require such big enclosures. I mean, those are just two chameleons that I have right there and they're in big, big, big enclosures. So I'm limited to how many I can have, realistically. Um, I would love to keep them all though. If I had just a mansion, I would absolutely fill it just with at least like 500 chameleons. I would be that person.